Okay children, so we are doing the first chapter for maths part 1, Mathematical Logic. So this chapter is for 12 standard students. So let's begin with this chapter. So logic is a chapter which is based on two things. The first thing is statements. And what do we do is, we denote the statements with the help of symbols. Like we can use symbols like P, Q, we can denote the statement with the help of symbols. So we use symbols such as P and Q and if a state, the statements are connected with words such as and or but so we have symbols for that also. So the first part of the chapter that is based on statements and symbols and the second part of the chapter that is based on the truth value of the statements whether the statements are true or false. Okay, I would like to give you the following example. So look at the following example. This is an example of two statements merged together. The first statement is an angle is a right angle and the second statement is its measure is 90 degree. So these two statements are connected with an and. So this is what I was saying when we say that this chapter is based on statements. So I am going to write first statement P, second statement Q. So my first statement is an angle is a right angle. And the second statement I am going to write it's measure is 90 degree. So this have been uh, written my statement in symbolic form. So this is known as symbolic form. And if I want to further write into the complete symbolic form, I want to give the symbol for this letter AND also. So this letter AND is denoted by a symbol this. So the complete symbolic form will be P and Q. P and Q. So this is how we write the statement in symbolic form. So like I was mentioning, there are different things that join two statements together like we have seen an example of AND. So what are the other things that can come and join two statements and what are the symbol for those things? I am going to show you now. Okay, so these are the five things that you people are going to encounter in this chapter. The first symbol we have already seen and that is AND. So AND is denoted by this symbol. The second thing is OR and OR is denoted by this symbol. Then the third thing is NOT which is also negation. In some sentences there are negative elements NOT, NOR. So this thing is denoted by this symbol uh, curly S and uh, then next is IF THEN which is denoted by this symbol and the last is IF and ONLY IF which is denoted by this symbol. So AND I have put OTHER also. OTHER means AND is a conjunction. So if you remember your uh, grammar, 9th and 10th standard grammar, so you remember fanboys are all the conjunction. For and no, just don't, we are not going to use not and or because not and or are separate now. But yet so, so all the other letters, all the other conjunctions can also be used in place of and. So if but also comes, we are going to use the symbol this. And if uh, so comes, we are going to use the symbol this. If then comes, we are going to use the symbol this. So all the other conjunctions that can come in place of AND, we are going to use the symbol this. But for all, there is specifically only one symbol. And for not, there is only one symbol negation. Okay, so AND is known as conjunction. This is known as disjunction. This is negation. This is conditional. And this is biconditional. So we call them these thing also. That is not important. All you have to remember is this thing and this thing. Better you write it down. So moving on, how do we use this in a sentence and how do we use truth values? So if you want to remember the truth values, every symbol has a connection. Like and if two true comes between an and, so true and true, so this becomes true. So there are certain rules, there is a table which I am going to make now and you people have to make that table, pause the video and you have to remember that. So first I am going to make the table for and. Okay, so let's first focus on this part. Let's first focus on this table. So what is this table telling us? This table is telling us so that if P and Q, two statements, if the values of P and Q are either true or false, then we have the following results. So you have to remember this table. So only, you can see it's easy to remember because only if both are true, then my resultant is true. And if any one of these is false, then the resultant is false. How to write the table? We write two trues, true, false. 
and then true false true false so true 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 false false true false false i'll explain it again first you write two trues and then two false and then alternative true false true false so you can get this table and how to remember the answer for this like true true becomes true and everything become false this is the answer it is just like in physics common students don't know much about physics in physics we have two gates uh this is like an and gate so if one input is going like it's one and if another input is off not going so the resultant will be off it will not the current will not pass so this is just like and gate so in physics also we have all these gates so this is the application from physics this logic chapter so if both the true then only it will be true otherwise it is going to be false so it can be explained with the following example you can see here so i have given written an example patna is the capital of bihar and 5y is imaginary number so i have made two statements the p statement is patna is the capital of bihar and the q statement is 5y is imaginary number now comes the trick in this chapter if you want to solve this question you should have little bit general knowledge also like you should know whether the p statement and q statements are true or not so first you should know that p is true or not patna is the capital of bihar so if you know your journal knowledge so it is true so p is true and regarding q 5y is imaginary number so you people have done complex number in 11th standard so you know i is a complex number which means root of minus 1 so root of negative numbers are all imaginary number so therefore this is an imaginary number so this statement is also true so these two statements are symbolize with an end so i will write it like this the symbolic form the symbolic form will be p and q so the symbolic form is p and q and p and q both are true so this will be true and true and true and true the resultant is true i know that so i am going to write true so this is how you are supposed to write if a question comes so if this is a question so you first write the two statements and then you decide whether the statements are true or not and then we decide whether both the statements are true then the resultant is going to be true the symbolic form so this is the symbolic form and this is the truth table this is the judgment of the statement whether the statements are true or false so this is we have finished the first part of the exercise of writing the statements in the symbolic form and then deciding whether the statements are true or false so we have written the truth value as well so we have done two things in this exercise we have done the symbolic form and we have done the truth value so just like for and we have a certain set of rules similarly we have for or we have for then and we have for if and only if we have for all the four symbols we have uh, the rules the easiest rule is for negation negation which is not so it just means reciprocal it means ulta so if p is true so negation p is going to be false if q is false so negation q is going to be true so negation is the easiest thing negation means ulta so p statement is true so negation p is going to be false if q statement is false so negation q is going to be true so negation means ulta and for or so i'm going to explain you for the other rules also the symbols also the first is or which is also known as this junction the symbol is this so p and q i have already already written then is conditional which is if then and uh, p and q i have already already written and the last is by conditional so i am going to write for by conditional the symbol was this by conditional so how do we write the statement for p and q i am just going to tell you again first we write two trues and then we write true false and then we write alternative true false and true false okay so i have not written the answers for this the solution for this because i am going to explain you while i am writing this so in the case of or false and false is false and all the other things are true just like for and true and true were true and all the things are false so just similarly in or it's the reciprocal it's ulta false false is false and all the other things are true now let's go for conditional then in then the rule is only true false is false 
and all the other things are true only true false is false and all the other things are true and lastly for the biconditional statement both the same things that is true true is true and false false is true and the other two things are false so you will have to make this table you have you will have to remember them you will have to remember the and that i have previously drawn you will have to remember the or you will have to remember if then and you will have to remember if and only if also the biconditional statement so you will have to remember this because question will be asked then you will be told to write them in the symbolic form and after symbolic form they can even ask you to write the truth value of that whether they are true or false so true or false first you have to judge the statements p and q whether they are true and then after you judge whether p is true q is false so then if it is or you will use this table and if it is then you are going to use this table and if it is if and only if by conditional you have to use this table and decide if the first statement was true other was true and if it is or then it is going to be true i will give one more example let's see one more example so let's look at the following example so the following example the question is if rome is in italy then paris is in france so i have my two statements p and q so the p statement is rome is in italy rome is in italy and my q statement is paris is in france so for now it's the time to decide because we are finding the truth value if they tell you to just write the symbolic form so you have to write p and q and then you just have to write the symbolic form symbolic form will be p and it is then if and then so if and then the symbolic form is this so if you if they tell you to just write the symbolic form you can write p and q write this and then it is done but if they tell you to write the truth value so now we have to decide whether the p and q are true or false so rome is in italy so again statements you have to use your mind your general knowledge your gk so rome is in italy is it true or false yes it is true so p is true and paris is in france this all this we all know this is also true so both the statements are true so we are going to put true then true so if you see the table that i have drawn previously i hope you have written that down so if you look into that table which you have written it down and if you see for then true and true becomes true so my answer is the final answer is also true so this is the truth value this is the symbolic form so this is the first type of question that they are going to ask you now i am going to explain you what is the other way they can ask you question based on this so the next kind of question that they can ask you which is very uh, important for the board exam that they ask usually it is prepare the truth table so from the logic chapter the first kind of question that is that will come is symbolic form and truth values which i have previously done and the next question that is definitely going to come in the board exam is prepare the truth table so this is one example i have taken to solve here so this example involves again only p and q okay so i am going to write p q and then i am going to write the truth values so two trues two false and then one true one false and one true one false okay so i began with my solution so first i have to see this question now we have to apply the laws of board mass we will start with the smaller bracket then moving on to the bigger bracket and then getting to the final solution so if you look into this entire question we are going to solve this part first because this is the smaller bracket and this part tells me p than q i have to solve this okay so p than q so i hope you remember from the table that i have told you to remember so in the case of p than q only true false is false and everything is true so true false is going to be false and the entire thing is going to be true true and true so i've solved this now moving on i have to solve this part so i will start numbering them so that it's easier for me to write 1 2 3 and the fourth one which i'm going to write now so what i have to do is take this thing which is 3 here and then there is Or symbol and P P is my one. 
so p is the first one so i have to do 3 and this 3 or 1 so if you people remember or from the table so or was only false false is false and everything is true so you have to see 3 and 1 where is false false if you see there is no false false there is true true false true true false and true false so there is no false false so nothing is going to be false here so everything is going to be true 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 so this we have solved this part so now the last part is then p so my fifth table it's going to be so i'm going to take this entire thing which is my fourth and then i'm going to take then p again that is again one so I am going to take this entire thing, the fourth thing which was this combined with or and I am going to use it with then with p. Again we have already done with then. So with then it was true false is false, everything is true. So we are going to see this and this. So where is true false? This is not, this is not, this is and this is. So these two are true false. So this is false, this is false because they are true false and true false. And these two are true true. So they are going to be true and true. So this is my final answer. I am going to revise it once again how I have solved this. So first I made these two. Making these two is nothing but just regular thing which we do. It's regular. True false it's true false and true 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 false false true and false false same. So this I solved first. So what I did here to solve it first was I put then p then q i have solved p then q so true 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 false true false 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 true true and false false true because only true false was false here and everything was true okay then i did what i took this and i solved with or p or ka rule mujhe yaad tha only false false is false so i have solved with p so false false ek bhi nahi hai true 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 false false true false true there was no false or false 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 only a chance in here so everything became true and then this is solved now the last thing remaining was then p so i have to take this with p again so then ka rule that oh again false true is false sorry true false so true false and true false false okay back is a true so this is how we solve the truth value true tables i will show you one more example how it is solved let us look at this final example to understand how the truth tables are done so again we have p and q so i am going to write p and q true true false false true false and true false okay i have written this now i am going to solve the first table first bracket but before i solve the first bracket i don't have directly p or q mere paas a negation p or q so first i will want is negation p so negation p like i said it's ulta negation means ulta so true ka ho jayega false false true true okay so this part is done now i can go for negation p or q so or ka rule we remember it it's only false 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 and everything is true so let's see negation p or q mein false false okay this is false false so this is going to be false there is no false false so everything else is going to be true so i have solved this part okay now i want to solve this part but again before i go with this part i want its negation q so negation q ke again q ka ulta so true ka false false ka true true ka false and false ka true so i got my this thing and i got my this thing now between these two things what I want to do is or again. So or ka wapas hai voi rule hai false 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 baki sab true. So let's see for false false. There is no false false. There is nowhere false false. So jo mera final answer hoi ga. You can write the entire thing instead of numbers. So agar aapko number nahi likhna you can write the entire thing. Previous example I have shown you with numbers. But if you don't, if you think numbers are confusing, you can write the entire statements. So it's not false false and in other statements so everything is going to be true. So my final answer is true 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 true. Okay sometimes they can ask you like this also judge the statement. The final answer is to judge the truth table. So there are three kinds of things. 
इफ एवरी थिंग्स कम ट्रू वी कॉल इट टोटोलॉजी इफ एवरी थिंग कम्स ट्रू वी कॉल इट टोटोलॉजी इफ एवरी थिंग कम्स फॉल्स वी कॉल इट कॉन्ट्राडिक्शन एंड इफ इट्स अ मिक्सचर ऑफ ट्रू और फॉल्स ट्रू भी आया फॉल्स भी आया वी कॉल इट कंटीजेंसी so sometimes they will tell you identify whether the statements are tautology contradiction or contingency to aapko truth table hi karna hai so truth table aapko karne ke baad final answer dekhna hai final answer all are true the statement is going to be a tautology agar sab false hai it is going to be a contradiction and if it's a mixture of true or false it is contingency so i have explained you two important things for this chapter first was symbolic form how to write in symbolic form and how to write the truth value of the symbolic form and the next thing i have taught you how to solve truth tables we have you will be given statement like this or a post statement ka truth table banana hai but truth table without the basic tables of true or or and jo main aapko starting bata to uske bina aap nahi bana sakte so you have to remember that first thing okay i hope you understood the video if you have any doubts you can ask me i will make a separate explanation video if you don't understood anything i will make another video to explain you so if you don't understood anything you can put it in the comments you can text it so that i can make another video with a better explanation thank you